So if you live in an Alfred building, you would get your own dedicated home manager who's going to basically be a personal shopper for you. They're going to fill your fridge, they're going to put your dry cleaning in your closet, they're going to bring your packages up to your countertop and take packages away to return. Uh, it is a person who is going to anticipate your needs. We don't call them a, a butler. More well, like a personal assistant? What's we the... call them home managers because they really do manage all the ins and outs of living life. And you have to, do you have to be in an Alfred building? You do. That's key. You do. Why is that key? Uh, it's really important for us to make it accessible for people to use and really a no-brainer to turn the Alfred service on. I guess in, in terms of your business model, right. one person in one building paying for your service yeah. really would be very expensive for you, right? So you want 40 people in a building, 60 people in a building paying. What and is we, the monthly fee? to? Yeah. So we want to make it help basically a utility and accessible to as many people as possible. And the easiest way for us to do that is to build it into your home. So you can move into a home in a space that takes care of you, and it's truly free for you to use. When you first started the service, if I recall, it, it, it wasn't building by building. You could actually buy it as a retail customer, right? Yeah, so we started, we launched the TechCrunch Disrupt. We won that competition. A lot of people signed up for Alfred, and we were launching city by city with a direct-to-consumer model. Um, we wanted to grow faster, and you really need that density and scale. But the most important part of what we're doing here is that the majority of people are going to live in cities. 80% of Americans are going to live in cities by 2050. And how people are buying and what people are buying is different. And you're seeing the store really come into the home. But, but speak to the pivot, because at some point you must have decided that the economics of it don't make sense to do well, it as a necessarily that's as a... That's not true, no? actually. I mean, the consumer model works really well. Uh, we just really need to get buildings on board with this idea that service needs to be built into your home and is a part of living in a city. So your revenue stream doesn't come from individuals. It comes from buildings. We have three revenue streams. The majority of our funding does come from that subscription that a building is paying for the service to be included in their building. So, and those are typically rental buildings? These are multifamily rental buildings. Uh, again, I think millennials are really thinking about how and where they live differently, and we're not seeing people move into single family homes. So, people are staying in the city, people are renting, and people are paying so, for experiences and services so like ours. So, if I am a uh, real estate owner, I own, let's say I own a building here in New York City, and let's say I have, uh, I don't know, we'll call it 80 apartments in my building? Yeah. What, what are you going to charge me? Uh, we actually really focus on buildings that are above 100 units or more. So okay. Some of our buildings have 600. Uh, let, let, let's but, let, I mean, let's go with 200 apartments. But the spirit of the conference. Well, yeah. Um, I mean, those numbers really depend on the size of your portfolio. We're working with the largest residential developers in okay, the world. Okay, I'll make it easy for you. Let's say I have 500 apartments. How much are you charging me per apartment? We're, we're, it really depends. Yeah, and we're no more expensive. Actually, we're probably less expensive than any of the standard concierge companies or fitness companies that are already in the market today. Um, it, from, from like, give me a price. So, so, we, so the good news is <laughs> you have an audience right now of yeah. real estate developers. How much is it going to cost them? If, they, if they're going to call you, they need to have a general sense of what on a per apartment basis you're charging. When we were a direct consumer business, it cost $250 a month to get Alfred once a week. Okay. So that's kind of the general number. You're adding a 0.01% increase to rent, and you're going to see up to a 10% lift in your rental prices. You're going to see enormous cost benefits and a lower churn. So we're getting top line and bottom line results for our developers. But I really want to stress the most important part of this is that in-home commerce is going to be the next big category. E-commerce has major pain points that aren't being solved with returns, with being able to touch and feel product that we can bring in and you can sample and decide if you really want to keep that Sonos speaker. And whether or not you look at the numbers, there's 30 million, 30, sorry, 30 million packages stolen every single year. We kind of eliminate that, plus a lot of package waste. It's more efficient, it makes more sense, and we're taking local services and bringing them inside the home, as okay. well as right. the largest brands. And you're integrating your service with things like Alexa and other? Uh, there is groups. no Alexa eavesdropping required with Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to use a speaker, we can integrate it. Uh, a lot of people really use our app, which is conversational, right. easy to turn things on and off. Uh, we got to go, but what's the craziest thing somebody's asked um, Alfred to do? People are busy. And we've, uh, yeah. we've done everything from engagement parties to hosting your parents and basic, the basics, recurring basics, like healthy food what, in your fridge. Is there an extra fee for hosting my parents? That's your it. Parents? It's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much. You. Thanks for having Thanks. us. Yeah.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.